hello and welcome to this Profit Protector Pro video. So I just wanted to share with you a couple of tips that you may want to use in order to help you decide what your minimum and maximum prices should be. Obviously, I can't sit here and tell you what exactly to set as you'll know your own listings, goals and situations a lot better than I will. And at the end of the day, it is your choice, but hopefully these tips help you. Now, your minimum and maximum prices are the parameters that the repricer works between, so it's gonna work between both of those in order to help you secure the buy box, therefore making you sales and profit, which is the whole uh, purpose of having a repricer. Now, the minimum price should still be a price whereby if you did sell for the minimum, it would be okay because it should be a price that you're happy to sell at still. What you don't want to do with your minimum price is set this below your break even price. Now, if you don't already know, the break even price is the price that you'd sell at where you wouldn't make a profit nor a loss. So it would basically be um, the cost of the item and all of the costs added up. So if you sold for that price, um, again, you wouldn't be making a profit nor a loss. So your minimum should be above your break even. If you needed any further help with this, um, in terms of Profit Protector Pro, you can check out some of the strategies on the strategies page. They'll give you a bit of advice too. So for example, if you're setting an aggressive strategy, it will advise that you set your minimum to be at least a pound or a dollar um, cheaper than the buy box price. That way it has room to go just underneath the buy box, scoop it up and then try to bump the price up in order to make you more profit. Um, so that can help you out with the minimum price decisions. In terms of the maximum price, now, in a dream world, you'd be able to set this as high as you like and hopefully sell for that super high price and make a fortune. But in the real world, we can't do that, unfortunately. So you need to set a sensible maximum price as well. And this is important because if it is too high, this can create things like high price alerts and a suppressed buy box, which nobody wants. So if you were stuck with what to set in terms of a minimum and maximum price, the best thing to do would be to check out the Amazon listing itself. So um, I've come on to the Amazon listing here. Obviously this is Buybot Pro, which is a separate piece of software. So it's a deal analysis tool. And in it, we've got the competition analysis, which shows me the top 10 sellers on the listing and the prices that they are selling for, which is just here. So we can see that the person who currently occupies the buy box is selling for 91 pounds, 92 pence. And if we go up to number 10, obviously the higher prices are 99.99. Now in total on the listing, there is over 20 sellers. So we can check out the rest of this pricing as well, just to make sure uh, we know what the range is. So the minimum price, we might want to set this just below 91.92 to try and scoop up that buy box. As for the maximum price, if we saw that the um, at, the, at the higher end of the spectrum, the pricing was somewhere around 100 pounds, 105 pounds or something like that. We'd probably wanna keep it around that area. Maybe you can go just a little bit over if you wanted, um, but try and keep it within that area. Obviously, if that is the higher end of the range, you know, somewhere from between 100 and 105 pounds, you then don't want to go setting something like 170 because that is completely out of proportion with the rest of the prices on the listing. And again, can trigger something like a high price alert and potentially lead to a suppressed buy box, which again, we want to try and avoid at all costs. So if you were stuck, always refer back to the listing and check out the other seller's pricing as well. Don't forget when setting your minimum and maximum prices within Profit Protector Pro to always save your changes as well. Hopefully this video has given you a couple of tips that you may want to use in order to help you decide your minimum and maximum prices. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.